What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and welcome back to another ranked match. Today, we are going to be playing with Songhai. Um, mostly, we've been playing Lionheart so far, but I wanted to play some Songhai today. I've already played two matches with Songhai. I won one, lost one. It's a very, it's a much faster deck. It's like a very aggressive. Glad I'm going first, and I'm playing Vitruvian, which I'm not sure if it's a good matchup for me. Uh, so I go first, and I like my two drops. I kind of like everything in my hand, so I'm going to keep my hand. Uh, actually, I'm going to get rid of the chakra avatar. Yeah. So I am silver now, as you can see. Um, so I got to rank 20 with my wins from Lionar. And it's going to go here and get some blast. I really hope he doesn't have blast in his starting hand. Gonna hold on to the Phoenix Fire just to take off durability on his blast. Yeah, this Blink uh, Blood Bloodborne spell is really perfect for Songhai. It really helps you get some crazy uh, backstab plays off. What is this? Adam Toth, whenever your opponent summons a minion, deal one damage to the enemy general. So, as that's on the board, I deal damage to myself, I see. Uh, do I just get rid of that right now? Probably not. Let's see. I think I just gotta play my Gorehorn. I kinda like my hand. Actually, I could get rid of it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. Because I can play five. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do that. That gives me enough to destroy this. Which doesn't perfectly position me as well as I want to because I'm in a row for the Vitruvian to hit with Blast. But I think that was a good play. Pretty aggressive using my resources. I've noticed with the Song High Aggro deck I've been playing, I've run out of cards very quickly. Like I, by the middle of rounds, I just start like top decking one or two cards every turn, or actually just I'll just have one card in my hand. And I did find out yes, the, when I played a while ago, you did draw two cards every turn. Now it's one card, which completely changes the game. Okay, that has big provoke. Now I wish this was ready to be used, this blink spell. Oh no, it can be used. Oh, I can easily destroy this then. I could just teleport my uh teleport friendly man up to two faces. So I need total six damage. This says backstab two. I need to give it one more attack. Um, do I give it plus three attack? Or If I move you there. Okay, that can't get all the way up there. So, I have total four mana I can play with. Looks like I'm just gonna do some teleporting. So, you teleport right here. You're gonna deal. I guess I'll just give the killing edge. Now that's huge, I destroy that, and take no damage, and I try to, I try to get towards him, and I'll do some damage to him, and I guess I like my hand, I don't really know. Basically with this deck you want to draw all your backstab guys, but you have your gore horns, very strong, you have your early game Kaido Assassins, then you have your flying dudes. Repulsor Beast, so that's gonna go to the corner probably. He just flips it to the corner. A Wind Dervish. And he's gonna get to be able to kill this. Not quite. Oh yes, he can just kill it. That's a little annoying. I have to draw that card that lets me teleport this to anywhere on the board. Um hmm. This isn't too bad actually. 
I have five mana I can play with, or six. I'd like to do the six. Actually, no, I'll do the five. I'm going to play these two, I guess. I'm going to get rid of my Saber Spine Seal. Do three damage to an inner general. Whatever. So. Let's kill this while we can. Get closer to the action. Play. You right behind, and another backstab dude that's kind of behind. And there's not a whole lot uh, Light Shot can do to dodge these backstab guys that are currently behind his back. Yeah, when you're playing against Sangha, you generally want to keep your back covered because backstab is a very, very strong trait. So you can hold your back to a wall or have a good protection behind you. Okay, Orb Weaver, it's going to be tough to get around. Jax. Jaxy. Okay. So. I have six mana I can use. I'll... I think I want to make a giant thing with the killing edge and I'll use a saber spine tiger. Oh, I can't do backstab with both of these. Yeah, let's do it like this. View here. Kill that. Right? And then I will move you two up, give you the killing edge, deal a ton of damage here, kill this. I'm kind of getting this off the game now. And do I just put damage on this directly and directly? I can hold on to it. My board's pretty congested. I'm not gonna play anything. I'm pretty well. I have good control of the game. What is this? Yes, this is the teleport car. That's very good for my deck. All right, so that's gonna die. Oh well. And he gets a ranged unit. And does he have anything to protect him? This guy has to move a little bit. I'm gonna do a ton of damage to him again. Is he just surrendering? Does he have enough to kill this thing? He better. Well, I've been dealing a lot of damage. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Do I actually win the game? Probably win the game, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be the game because I can just move, I can do a lot of damage like that. And then I can just teleport this thing over here. Oh, nope, cancel. I forgot backside wouldn't kill this. Oh no, it still would. I mean, I don't need backside actually. I thought it was going to open up the space behind him, but I forgot backstab wouldn't take any damage back, but I can just normally attack that. So, oh, I'm mute now. Nope, I'm over here. Well played. I guess that's the new GG. That was a fun game. I'll tip him five gold. I guess it's always nice to do that. And now we're a little closer, I guess, so. Uh, not right now. Okay. So, as you get to the higher ranks or the lower ranks, whatever the lower number ranks, um, you have to get more wins to rank up. Thank you for the gold. I see there's a lot of gold or reward achievement things, which is pretty fun. And it lets you actually buy things. So, even though it does have some pay to win aspects, uh, it definitely is able to be played f for free. Yeah, so we're only like 10 minutes through, so I might as well play another game. And these games go pretty quickly, so we're going with... I thought it was Bronal for a second, an old scroll sky, but no, it's not. Oh. 
Was he not able to play? I guess he wasn't able to play right now. Well. That's cool, I got a 19 for that. Hmm. We can go for three wins in this episode, I guess. Oh, this is the other Lionar general I haven't seen yet. I don't know what her uh, ability is, her Bloodborne thing. I can play a three drop or two two drops. Let's see. That's good, that's good. I'll get rid of the, that because I won't see a big thing early on. And, oof. I guess I like that. Oh, that's actually a tough, tough choice for me to play turn one. Too bad this doesn't have backstab. Is the only issue, and that guy's the reason why I wanted a saber spawn tiger. I can quickly dispose of. <laughs> oh, whoa, hiccups. So I kind of want to play this. I can actually destroy that right now. It would only cost four. I'm gonna do that, yeah. Because I can just teleport it here. And then activate it. Oh! I messed up. I had to do that out of order. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I messed that up. Well, yeah, I did that out of order. If I just played this on it and then teleport it, I forgot that that card. I forgot this card only works on minions with three or less attack, but it has four attack now because of the moving card. Well, that was a clear misplay because I had a very good play if I didn't do that. You try to limit those misplays. And now he's able to kill my strong gore horn. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Well, I guess if I lose this game, it comes back to bite me, because that would have given me a very clear early start. Alright. And now he has the board control. Not something I like to see. Um... I think right now we just have to kill this all we can. And so he gets a little lead on me. Do I play this? No, I'm not going to. At least you could just get rid of Ooh. Okay, so we can actually go for some big. Oh, what is this Bloodborne spell? So three health to a friendly man. Oh, that's not too good. I can actually do some crazy stuff because I have this flying guy, I have the reactivate, and I have the killing edge. That could be an issue. So what can we do? We have five mana, so we can we can't play killing edge on it. But if we play the Scar Viper, we can deal six damage, which would deal a lot. Um, can I get rid of this? Wish I had more mana. Well, that guy makes things cheaper, doesn't he? I wish I could move away. But I can't. Hmm. It's kind of annoying here. I have to play this like this. I guess I'm gonna though. Can move up at least. 
Like, I could do a big play this turn, but it just wouldn't be worth it. Hopefully, I can somehow have this Scarlet Viper survive this turn. I doubt it's going to survive that. Gonna need to top deck another Scarlet Viper. I mean, I guess I could have just not played the Scarlet Viper. I kind of felt we were going a whole turn not playing anything. So, please don't have anything to kill it. Odds of that are very low because he uses Lionar, a lot of different things can deal 2 damage. And he is directly threatening it with 3 damage right here. If he doesn't, though, that would be huge. I'd like to top deck another one of these. Or actually anything with Backstab. Don't have anything with Backstab currently in my hand. I think, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna take out these Mana Forgers from my deck. You know, I'll have to check the uh, Disenchanting or Enchanting card screen to see if there's been any new... Um, any new backside minus that came out over the past, like, year. Oh, okay, well. If that's his only way to kill him, fine. And that's a lot of attack. He's using the Divine Bond strategy of attack. Well, I don't really have a combat to that, do I? Can I muster 8 attack? Actually, I, I can muster 7. That's not 8, though. Uh, let's get rid of this. Well, actually... Yeah, I'm kind of dead. I can deal... 7 at damage to this. But only 7. Well, shit. Um. Yeah, I lost. Nothing I could do about this. I was just kind of killed here. But I can reactivate it. And then we're just gonna die. Well played. Oh, I mean, I'll let it tip him if I lose. Oh. Well, that was a tough loss. It's not that tough. I wasn't really close to winning. I messed up in the beginning, which could have changed the entire outlook of the game. But then I think I also got some bad draws. Uh, we're not at 20 minutes yet, uh, so I might as well just start a new game. I like to keep my minutes probably, my video is between 20 and 30 minutes long. So we're actually going to get four matches in this video if you count that one that didn't really start. He just surrendered. So I can go two, get rid of that, and get rid of that. Okay, pretty good. Let's see if I can beat this guy. This game you really want to get winning streaks because when you have a winning streak going you rank up like twice the speed. So like winning three, losing one, winning or winning two, losing one, winning two, losing one, even that might be a great win ratio. It's not as good as if you were win you were to win like six in a row and then lose five in a row. Or well, that might be close actually, but that's not as good a winning percentage. Get rid of the Spado thing, because there's not a lot of powerful creatures in the beginning. And here is where I think the Chakri Avatar is going to be nice to play. Because I'm not at the point of the game where I'm close to being behind him, so the backside won't probably won't be handy just yet. Oh, what does that do? Dispel, okay. Well, this guy doesn't do a whole lot then. Um... I do have the Mist Dragon Sail, which means I probably should have played the Kaido Assassin. Hmm. I can just destroy this this turn. It's only if I got a. Huh.
I'm gonna play the Kaido Assassin back here. Yeah. I'm just gonna play it back here. Or I should probably sacrifice something and hope to grab a. Nah, I like all my cards. I'm gonna play it back here, knowing that I could play the Miss Dragon Seal. Which is a very ballsy play. And just put some damage on this. Then I know he's gonna get a. A, what's it called? A Dervish, but whatever. Please don't spawn in this top right or this bottom left. Yes. Give it a spawn there. I should have probably moved this back one. Then it would be able to kill my dude right here. Okay. Yes, I can destroy that. He is. And you waste an uh, enchantment on it because I can actually backstab that by using my. I could have Phoenix Fire, but I think Miss Dragon Seal is going to be really good. I could teleport right behind that. Um, and what's that going to cost? That costs one. I can theoretically. Does this have Hex or something? This means it takes no damage from generals. Okay. Well, I might kill it by general. Do I play this? And do some fun stuff this turn? I guess so. So. I'll play this. Teleport this all the way over here. Um. I don't want this to spawn again. I could actually make this huge by getting one of these and playing the killing edge, but I won't. I will... Or just destroy that and deal damage to him. Right? You can still move, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a better idea. Yeah, but I, w I don't want this to die outright. Ugh. I'll do it like this, I guess. Now let's move so we're not in the same row, just in case he has a thing that can make him move pretty far. And there we are. He deals some damage. Let's get one of the activate immediately, guys. The zero cost spells. That'd be great. Or you know what? Do I sacrifice the killing edge? Do I really sacrifice it? Oh, I can teleport this thing. That's actually perfect. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just perfect. Play this up here. Then I teleport. And what, what do I deal? Four damage? Um, I want to have six though. How do I get to six? I need killing edge. I guess I'm playing killing edge on this. Oh, I can't actually get down there. Whoops. That was a bit of a mess up then. I can't actually get down there and destroy this. So let's just deal a lot of damage then. And can we get one of those zero cost spells? There we go. Inner focus. And we draw a card, an extra card from playing that. Perfect. So I assume he's going to be able to kill this now, but now that the general's down to 8 health, I can immediately go with the Scarlet Viper. And if his general has nothing protecting it from behind, I guess he can't destroy this right now. Do I win the game then? Is that game? Probably his game. Do 
Do not have anything to kill that? Or is it GG? Ah, there we go. He had that card. So that can destroy it. So, can I win? I think I can anyways, because I just... Yeah, I'm sure I can win. Yeah, I think I just need to play another one of these. I only have six, I gotta be careful. Don't wanna screw up. No, I think I, I think I got the win. So I just play this. Play this. Play that. And then that will deal enough damage to kill that. I also could do more damage with my general. Oop, I forgot to say well played. Well, I'll tip him some gold. And back to 19. So we're at 26 minutes now. That'll be it for today's video. Um, got a lot of matches in with that Slonghai Aggro deck. I'm going to try to be well versed in all these, uh, all these factions. And I really have to update my decks. I'll look online for an updated deck list for these. Those are like probably pretty good decks from eight months ago, but now there might be better decks out there. So I'll maybe enchant some of those cards by next video. Uh, so thanks for watching, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.